All right, so I caught a really nice dip. This broke out above there. That's the first resistance it hits there, right? Hits there again the second time, comes down, smashes to the upside. Okay, we break above it, and I thought it was gonna retest around there, but it doesn't. It retests around the one minute 55 EMA instead. So I entered into a pretty big massive day trading position of $250,000. I caught a really nice dip, and it looks like there's a fifth wave still to form. See, this one here looks like it's only waves one. See this? So this looks like it's only waves one, two, three, four, and there's a five going up. Zooming really far out, we can see that the next reasonable resistance is around 586. So 586 is a big resistance. I'm up $6,000 right now. Let's see if it's going to smash this high right now of 559. It's got some wicked momentum going up right now. Huge momentum. If you look on the higher time frame, you can see it just wanting to smash that with very little resistance being offered, actually. If you take a look at the 15-minute RSI, it just looks like it wants to break above there, easily smash above there. The five-minute chart looks like it's got tons of momentum as well. So I think this is going to be a really good trade here. I'm up $7,000 so far. I don't think I want to take the chance. So I'm going to put in my limit order and take my profit right away here at 57 at 45,000. I'll put in my profit here at 5.47 I meant. That'll be for a $9,000 profit. I'm going to I'm going to put in there if it doesn't smash. So I'm getting ready right now. See I got my limit order in here ready. But it looks like it's going Looks like it's really going right now. I don't think it's gonna smash it the first time though. All right, so I put my, my limit order in here, but it looks like it's gonna be a big wall because the volume is dying down and I'm a huge wall. But let's see how it goes. Price starts to steadily decline very fast after I put it in there. I remove my limit order because I keep looking at the higher time frames, and I see that it really wants to push to the upside hard. So now I look at it here on the lower time frame though, I don't think I have time to trade this to be honest. I think this is just gonna make the one, two, three, four, and the five somewhere up there or double topped. And then as soon as it does that, I'm gonna take my profit for sure. I don't have time to stay up tonight. It's already really late. I gotta get up early to do something. It's coming back to the downside here to test this region. See this region right there? That's a support region. It was recently a resistance it held for a good while, but it tried to keep breaking it above there before. Resistance comes down, smashes above it, and let's see if it's going to be support holding it above here now. If it does hold this support, I will be able to take my profit very soon. Here we go. We got the doji on this candle right there. So now I'm just wanting a push to the upside. Looks like it made like bullish flag type pattern for this specific wave four. Now let's see if it's going to push to the top side there. On higher time frames, it does look like it wants to go. But on lower time frames, it's finding so much struggle right now. So this might actually be it. Lots of hesitation here, and I don't like that. I keep missing shorts, or I keep missing profit opportunities. I'm slow today. Here's the retest coming down again. This specific region right there. See, resistance, 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 resistance. Should turn to a support now. If it falls below here, that's going to be very bad news. MACD is fighting very hard on the on the 15 second time frame. Curvature needs to change around, but now it's coming to the downside. See this? So it doesn't actually look good for the bulls. I got to go zoom out a little bit. Maybe got to give it a little bit more time and more of a clearance to over here. That's a little bit better. So let's see if it spikes back up. The 15 second needs to cross to the upside to have momentum to go up. So there we go, it's going up a little bit now. It's getting more of that momentum on the five second time frame, which is great. Looking at on the five second time frame, we did get the crossover going up. That's good. The 15 second is now gonna be on par with the five. Uh, maybe if it, if it goes a little bit, nope, nope. It got rejected going up. Did you see that? The cross didn't happen. It got rejected hard. So it looks like it's gonna cross down here now. That was a really big drop. So now it's still fighting over here, trying to break back up above the 55 VMA. The five second time, the 15 seconds is hard. It's really, really tough right now. 
this needs to do something like that, right? It needs to co go back to the positive side to have bullish sentiment. But we are seeing it great on the 55 second, uh, the 55 EMA on the 15 second time frame. But now you're seeing it drop, right? See this region right here? This is a good support region, 55 EMA. But once again, it needs to have this momentum going to the upside or else we're going to lose this bullish pressure and we're just going to continue to the downside. So it needs to hold right around here. If it doesn't, it's done. So now this is a great rally. There we go. It crosses to the upside, but now it needs about one or two more bars. Okay, this is a good momentum going up. Great momentum. See, it's still pushing. That's a big step in the histogram. With a big step like that, you can easily expect it to keep rallying. Let's see if the 30 second continues with it. Nope, the 30 seconds far off. So now let's see how high this is going to go. Still no bullish momentum that's rallying to the top side. I'm down a lot now. I was up a gigantic $8,000, but I didn't take my profit because I expected it to rally further, which is kind of selfish of me, very greedy of me rather. But I don't want to take my profit too early because there's a good chance that it could break above something high. If you take a look on the 15 minute time frame, you can just see wicks going to the upside, right? It's not resistance. It's it's bulls attempting to rally. That's what it is to me. Bulls attempting to rally and breaking to the upside. On the 30 minute time frame, it's the, we just closed just now. On a, kind of a bearish candle. So the 30 minute close with a bullish spinning top or a bearish spinning top rather. So new candle is beginning. Uh, it's the, the, with the low is getting higher though. See the low of that candle, it's lower than the previous. So that's causing concern right now for the bulls for sure. The 15 minutes still going up though. See the bulls, it's still good volume. It just needs to keep continuing to the upside. There we go, it's getting good momentum up $6,000. So the high is right around here. Okay, that's the high. Five, four, six, three is the high that it wants to break. See this? So now it's going for it really hard. Now let's see if it's gonna actually catch up there, up 7,000. If it breaks towards the upside, that's gonna be great. Um, it can't quite get up there though. It's This might even be the last wave, one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. That could be the fifth right here already. That's really truncated. So I might be setting myself up for failure, right? If um if if it doesn't hit up there, which could easily end up getting rejected. Despite it being a really big candle in the four hour, there's still a really strong possibility that this could get rejected. We must be aware of that. And especially as a day trader, you just don't know if it's gonna get rejected. So here you can see it's at, the rejection is around five, four, four, three. That's where the resistance really is, okay? Right here, 5443. So now the last thing I want is for it to make some crappy ascending triangle that's gonna take forever to form. And that's gonna be another like 30 minutes or an hour. I want it to break right now. Uh, there we go, there's the momentum. I saw that pressure, did you see that? There we go, there's the candle that's attempting to break it. It's going, it's going, and it's going. Yeah, there we go, it's going pretty nicely right now. Uh, a little bit more, come on. Give me a push. Give me a push, come on. That might have been it right there, guys. I don't know. I don't think it's going to break it. Just couldn't find that momentum to break it. That could have been the very last wave already. It's really trying to find it right now. So I'm going to close here at 4.6. I'm just going to take my profit here at 4.6. I'm probably going to be a gigantic wall, which I doubt that people are going to smash. So let's see if there's momentum going to the upside still, but I don't think so. I close a little bit of my position, just like literally 300. Let's see if it's going to break here. 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, fives, almost 4, fives, but didn't quite get there. So the momentum is incredibly hard right now to catch. We hit a resistance hard at 4, 6. It's dropping to the downside now. You can see the retracement coming, and that might have been it. That literally might have been it. One, two, three, four. And this was one, two, three, four. And that was the five right there. And you can see it too. You can actually see it. One, two, like you can see the final five waves right there. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that, see? So let's, let's see if there's one more possible attempt to crack it. So I'm just gonna wait here very, very patiently. 
and boom, we take my profit here for $8,900. That was a $9,000 profit. Wonderful, wonderful trade, bam. Okay, so this is the rule for coins that move a lot, okay? See this right here? Do you see how it moves 37% right there? I should get on camera for you guys, it's a little bit dark. My table's messy too. So, so you can assume that shorting is secondary. Okay, obviously going sh going long is primary at major rallies like this, okay? Especially when, when you, you're seeing something huge that's moving to the upside. Try to go somewhere where it, you can see, here it's hard to see everything going on, right? Try to find a time frame that makes a lot of sense. Clearly this one makes sense where that's a one somewhere, two, probably a three somewhere up there, okay? So because it's still going, Find a resistance first of all. Okay, find a resistance there. I want to be a thousand percent honest that the first one that you guys saw me where it was up 8,000, I didn't take my profit. I fucking broke out even on that trade. Thousand percent honest. Okay, so you find a resistance. That's the one resistance. Find another resistance. There we go. See how it's hitting right there? Right there, right? So you want to go and risk 1% each, each possible breakout. Got to go to a really low time frame. Okay, really low time frame. Five second time frame, no doubt. So this one here didn't quite break out. So I never entered it. Okay, never entered it on that guy there. But you see that it breaks out over here, right? So you want to enter on that breakout. Especially if you see the volume start to pick up. You see the volume increase, 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 increase in five seconds. So I entered it. I literally entered it. I entered it out here actually, okay? I entered it around there, right there. It took me some time to notice it. $8,000 profit up there, it dips back down and I panic, right? I panic and I say to myself, it's probably gonna retest here. I'll get a 1% better entry. So I took my, my clothes and then I ended up, I ended up entering it and it, it went like this, right? It didn't do anything. I waited for it to get back down there, it didn't do it. So here is where I ent entered on the breakout instead, right there. Because you see that, you see that it's going, 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 going. So the first rule that you gotta do when they break when you see breakouts is find the old the old resistance and then go in the really low time frame to watch it. Okay. This is something that you can't just be called out, right? You just look for the volatile coin and say to yourself, there's probably gonna be a breakout somewhere and I'm gonna catch it, right? That's gonna make sense. There's gotta be a breakout somewhere and I'm gonna catch it. So the moment that it breaks on a low time frame, risk 1%, right? I didn't take my profit up there because stupid me, I'm assuming that I'm going for a bigger one. The bigger one is up there, 50 to 589, okay? 580, 585. So I'm going for a bigger profit. That's really greedy of me, but it looks like it's still gonna get there actually, right? So then you gotta play one breakout at a time. Go to low time frame, super low time frame, Zoom in. Zoom in really, really. You cannot trade breakouts on a one minute chart, guys. You simply just cannot, okay? You gotta trade it in a really low time frame. And here, here as well, here is a great breakout potential for a scalp, okay? Here is a great potential right there. See that? See this ascending type of structure that's forming? You could have scalped that as well. So there's many potential. There's so many potential. There's one there to scalp, a breakout there. There's this one there. And then there's this huge one that I'm that I'm showing you over here, okay? Huge one. So notice that it breaks out from here, goes to there, and it finds the next possible region here, right? And then it gets resisted, comes down, tests this structure again, and then it breaks out, right? And then the cool thing is, after it breaks out of there, it falls back down into the, where the resistance previously was, right there. So resistance over here, okay? And then after that, it breaks to the upside. So resistance now turns to support. That's another opportunity for you to take a chance. All that it comes down to is taking the risk 1% at a time. It's up to you. There's never going to be a guaranteed trade to take. But what you can do is you can risk 1% where you think that there's a lot of reasons for a possible bounce or breakout. So that's how I'm able to make, that's how I was able to make $9,000 on this trade. It was a really good trade. So bye now.